All right, guys, it's me here again. Um, so just a reminder, I do give online maths, chemistry, and physics classes, right? And ad maths will be starting in later on this year, right? Um, All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be looking at how to factorize by grouping, right? So this is different from the first two methods we looked at. So far, we've looked at uh, factorizing using the ETF method and the difference of two squares. So to identify if I have to use factorizing by grouping, I'm gonna have four terms. That's a hint, look out for four terms. And that's how we know we have to use factorizing by grouping. So in this case here, we have four terms, right? Now, when you're factorizing by grouping, what you're doing, you're looking to find something common between two sets of terms. So if we look at this here, right, we can find something common between these two, these two terms. And here, we can also find something common with these two terms. Now, the first two terms, the 4px and the 8qx, I can factorize that using the ATF method. The ATF of 4 and 8 is 4. Right? The next thing common here is X. X is the only thing that I have common here. So when I factorize this, I'm gonna get P plus two Q, close brackets, right? Now here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna factorize the second part here, but don't put your sign here as yet. Don't do that as yet. So you find the ATF of six and 12, that's gonna be six. And then we see what else is common. The only thing common there now is Y, open brackets. And this is gonna be P, right? Plus two Q, right? Now here's the thing, when you're factorizing by grouping, right? Those two brackets that you're getting here, they are supposed to be the same thing, right? So that's why I'm telling you, factorize first, right? Before you put the sign. Now you're gonna have to decide what sign am I gonna put here? Am I gonna put a positive sign or a negative sign? In this case here, I'm going to put a positive sign because plus six Y multiplied by P is gonna give me this, it's gonna give me plus six PY. And then plus six Y by two Q is gonna give me plus 12 QY. So therefore, here's where you're gonna write your answer. You have a bracket common to both of them. So you're gonna put the bracket first, P plus two Q, close brackets. And what you're gonna write now, you're gonna take this four X here. So that's four X. And then you're gonna write this plus six Y. So it's gonna be four plus six Y. So this method here is called factorizing by grouping. Now let's do an X one here. So again, first thing we need to do, or identify if we're using this method or not. You have four terms here. Look at the first two terms and see if you have anything common with them. So you have 2px and you have 3qx. So the only thing common between those two, we have x common here. So this is gonna be 2p plus 3q, right? Don't put your sign as yet. Don't write the sign here as yet. What you're gonna do, you're gonna try to factorize this. So the only thing common to those, those things here will be two, not P, sorry, two and Y. So this is two Y coming here, open brackets, and this is gonna be two P, right? And then this is where students get a little confused. Now, like I said at the beginning, two brackets have to be the same, right? So if I factorize this piece here, right? It's gonna be two P, right? I need this to be plus, 3q. That's what I need it to be, right? That's 6p. Yeah, 6yq, right? Now, the two brackets need to be the same, right? Now I can decide what sign am I going to use. Now, I want to get minus 4py and I want to get minus 6q. So therefore, I should put a minus sign here. When I factorize this now, it's going to be 2p plus 3q, one bracket, right? And then it's gonna be X minus two Y. So this is how we factorize by grouping. I have a few more for you all to, to see how we're gonna do this. Again, we have our next one here. You look at your first, first two terms, see what we have in common. You look at the second two terms and see what we have in common. The first two terms, the only thing we have in common there, we can pull out A and this is gonna be 3C plus 5D, right? In one bracket. Don't put your sign here as yet. Then we look and we see what is common to the other two terms. So you can pull out, you can factor out two and B 
right? So two and B, that's the only thing that you have common there. So therefore, what should be in the back brackets here? This should be a three and this should be a C. Now the brackets, like I said, they have to be the same. So we know this has to be plus, even though you see that minus 10 B there, right? And this is gonna be five, right? And this here is going to be D, right? So now the two brackets are the same. Now you have to decide what sign am I gonna put here? In order to get this back here, you must put a minus sign here. So therefore my final answer is gonna be 3C plus 5D in one bracket, and this is gonna be A minus 2B, right? Now let's look at the next one here. Um, if you look at the first two terms, M plus 2N, we have nothing common there. Then if we look at these here, we have something common there, right? Now, in terms of factorizing this, we might have to rearrange this a little bit, right? Um, so let's see what we can do. I can write this as M minus 3MX plus 2N minus 6NX. So all I've done, I've just rearranged something slightly, right? And now we're gonna factorize. So between the first two terms here, I can factor out M and this is gonna be one minus 3x, right? Don't put your sign here as yet. Don't put your sign here as yet. The, what we can factor out on using these two terms, we can factor out 2n. So this will be open brackets, one, and this has to be minus 3x. So the two brackets are the same here. So now we decide what sign we're gonna use. So the only sign I can put here, it has to be a plus sign. So therefore my answer is gonna be one minus 3x right? And this is going to be M plus 2N, right? So that's how we factor, factorize that there. Now, next one here, um, we have 6X squared plus 15X minus 4X minus 10. So we first check to see if we have something common to both of them. Yeah, we could find something there. Even with this, you can find something. So what I can pull out, the HCF of 6 and 15, the highest number that can go into both of them will be 3. And we can pull out X as well. So therefore, this becomes 2X. And this is going to be plus 5, right? Don't put your sign here as yet. Now, the 4X minus, minus 4X minus 10, only thing you can pull out there is 2, right? And this is going to be um, 2X plus 5. Remember, the brackets need to be the same. Now you need to figure out what sign we're going to use. So I need to put a minus sign here. So this is going to be 2x plus 5 in one bracket. And this is going to be 3x minus 2 in another bracket. And this is how we factorize this by grouping. And we're going to do one last one here. So let's see. We have 3p squared minus pq. Yes, you have something common here. When you look at this one here, you don't really have anything common. So let's rearrange this slightly. So I'm gonna put 3p squared minus p, right? Minus 9pq, right? Plus 3q, right? We can find something common there. So between the first two terms, we can factor out p, and this is gonna be 3p minus one, right? And then don't put your sign here as yet. What we can factor out on the last two terms, we can factor out three as our HCF of nine and three. Then we have Q that is also common. So therefore this becomes three P, right? And then this is going to be, now this needs to be minus one, right? Because the two brackets have to be the same. Now you're gonna decide what sign am I gonna use? The only way that I can get back this expression here is by putting a minus sign here. So therefore this becomes, 3p minus one, and this is gonna become p minus 3q, right? So that's my answer. That's how we factorize by grouping, all right? So guys, um, this is the conclusion to this video. And like I said, I do give online maths, chemistry, physics, and soon to be at maths. So 868, all right, um, 784, 2059, right? You can send me a WhatsApp on this number, right? If you all are interested, please remember to hit like and subscribe to my Maths channel, right? I've been providing support for you guys for a long while, right? Take care, everyone.